I'm going to go back over a lot of the classic videos that I had on my YouTube channel and to give them some commentary so that you guys know what was going through my mind as I was tackling the challenge. Over Memorial Day weekend, I decided to go up to Oregon to try some of the challenges up there that I hadn't seen before. One of them that I tried my hand at was the 5-pound poutine challenge available at the original Dinerant in Portland, Oregon. Poutine is a food I'd never come across before, but I fell in love with it instantly. It reminds me of chili cheese fries, but the chili and throwing gravy. Um, it was a, actually a much easier food to eat than I would have anticipated. I was worried about choking on all the french fries, and that, you know, I need to use a ton of water to get it all down. But as events turned out, it was actually remarkably easy to eat. In the beginning, I was flying. Just going real, real quick. For presentation purposes, they actually bring out the five pound poutine challenge on a butcher's block, which is actually a very excellent presentation tool. It really makes it look like a ton of food. But once you get into it, digging through it, you know, fork and knife, you really find that it's a very manageable portion. Most of the five pound weight is accounted for by the fries, but the gravy really makes it easy to eat. It's pretty much French fries, gravy, and cheese curd. I actually went back and I did this challenge a second time, and that video is coming up part of the Oregon Mania 2 series. Aaron Wakamatsu joined me for both challenges. He's actually present in this one, but he's going to participate more meaningfully in the second one. Probably the most interesting element of this challenge is the fact that I was interrupted in the middle of it, which is the first time that that's ever happened to me. Uh, the server um, informed me that I needed to sign a waiver, you know, basically saying that if I choked and died, I couldn't sue the restaurant. I was just on my way to, you know, establishing a house record of about, you know, eight and a half, eight forty-five, just under nine minutes, and you know, it was very weird to have a rhythm broken by having to basically sign this waiver. But, you know, it is what it is. These things happen and you just can't control it. You know, eating challenges are very, very weird activities anyway. Um, you know, it was really cool to actually be able to set a house record. Um, you know, my strength is usually long distance eating rather than, you know, short game eating. So anytime I'm able to set a record for, you know, quickness or, you know, to finish the fastest, you know, that's that's a badge of honor for me. Anyone with the challenge is actually rewarded with a t-shirt saying that they survived the poutine challenge. As of Memorial Day weekend 2012, the staff told me that only three people before me had finished the challenge. And they had all pretty much needed the entire 30 minute allotment. My finish was, you know, considered blazing. But from early on, at the pace I set that, they could see that I was actually on my way to a quick as a side note, this actually was a replacement challenge. My original um, point of interest was the huge Mad Greek sandwich at the Mad Greek Deli. Unfortunately, it turned out that you needed to provide them with at least two days' notice, preferably three, and the owner had to be on hand in order to actually do the challenge. Of course, that was a little bit of a disappointment when I found out that I wouldn't be able to do it, but Fortunately, Aaron and I had some good backup plans, which not only included this poutine challenge, but also stopping by Voodoo Donuts to try a Texas donut and going by Salt and Straw to try a hot ice cream flavor. And just like I did the first time, I'm leaving this video in its entirety just because you know, it is record setting. And secondly, a few of the viewers here on YouTube have requested more full-length videos of challenges. Personally, my hat's off to you if you can sit down and watch me eat for eight to nine minutes because I sure as hell can't. Around the five to six minutes mark, the eating actually starts to get a little bit tough. You know, there's just so much food flying down your system that, you know, your brain is starting to catch up with it. And you'll see me actually use more and more liquid as time goes on. Due to the consistency of the food, I would say that I could probably handle two of these poutine challenges back to back. 
And if I ever go to Oregon again, you know, for a hypothetical Oregon man three, you know, that's definitely on my docket list. Oregon actually has a ton of unique eating challenges, things that are just pretty cool. There's also voodoo donuts with the with the one pound uh, Texas donut. Um, there's go go burgers that has a six pound double burger challenge with two sides of fries that pays a hundred bucks to anyone who can finish. There are some unbeaten team pizza challenges. There are pancake challenges, steak challenges. And if you make it out to the Happy Donut in Mer Creek, they have a two-pound fritter challenge, which has my name all over it since I love sweets. And I don't remember the exact moment, but right around now is when I'm about to be rudely interrupted to sign my waiver. Don't remember the exact moment where this occurred. Of course, Aaron is watching in the background, and he was just blown away at the speed with which I was handling the poutine. And there I think you can see some of the guys in the background walking around with a waiver and here we go. You know, unbeknownst to him, you know, he just put his rear right in the camera. Um, and for the sake of continuity and flow, I am not going to edit this out. And there you see me signing away. In my two plus years of doing eating challenges, this is the first time this has ever occurred. Where I was stopped in the middle to have to sign the document. Usually they handle it beforehand. Not this time. Not this time. They actually stopped the clock. But as you know, you know, the body and the brain don't work that way. You just get plowing or, you know, bad things happen. Of course, I sign, and, you know, we're on our merry way. Of course, the actual way they had me sign didn't have anything out of the ordinary. It just said that I was eating this challenge at my own risk, that it probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, and that if I get hurt, it's my own fault. Eh, and, you know, it's fair. I almost wonder if Reckless Eating should have me sign the kind of waiver before we do Natter versus the World, but I guess it's also under my choice as well. Anyway, I'm on to, you know, record finish here in under nine minutes. So I will just let the video play out in its entirety. And I thank you for watching. Stay tuned for many, many more videos on this channel.